Time to hit you with some more boxing. We are fortunate to have the Hall of Fame trainer and analyst Emmanuel Stewart in our backyard. So when we can talk boxing, it's great to have him with us. Also, Winfred Harris, a 16-year-old from Oak Park High School, who we will talk to shortly. But Emmanuel, you were in Switzerland yesterday with Vladimir Klitschko, who beat Tony Thompson for the second time in his career. Your thoughts on yet another title defense for Klitschko? I was very satisfied with the fight. It came out pretty much like I expected. But the guy that stole the show over there last night was our Detroit kid, Tony Harrison, who's been on the show. Yes, he has. Yeah. What did he do? Tony uh, scored his eighth consecutive knockout out of eight fights, and uh, six have been in the first round. Uh, in the last time he fought in Germany, he stole the show from Vladimir. They were showing on the big screen Tony Harrison's knockout all night long. Uh, more so than even Vladimir's fight. Well, let me ask you about that a little bit, because you obviously train Vladimir, but you know the scuttlebutt around the boxing circles, that the heavyweight division is dead, so to speak. You saw what happened in the Bradley Pacquiao fight firsthand. Give me your thoughts on sort of the state of boxing and what people are, are saying about it. The state of boxing is not that good right now. Just the fact that when you ask the everyday fan what fight they want to see, they still say Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather. They say, aside from that fight, what other big fights you would like to see? And they just go like, I mean, that's how boxing is. It's not too much going on overall. And the heavyweight division is probably the worst it's ever been. I mean, you know, and I'm saying I have the heavyweight champion, the Klitschko's, and still they have no challenges. So they've been dominating boxing. But, I mean, the fact that this fight that they had yesterday couldn't sell, uh, the t American TV wouldn't even buy it. But nevertheless, over in Germany and in all over Europe, it's so loud, 50, 60, 70,000 people. They're like rock stars over there. Mm. But uh, here in America, based on the fact that we don't have any American heavyweights, there's no interest in the heavyweight division. But what about the Bradley Pacquiao mess? I thought the Bradley Pacquiao fight was a very, very almost like an embarrassment to me to some degree, and I was doing a broadcast. Uh, I definitely thought that Manny won the fight. After reviewing it a second time, I don't think he won as big as I thought the first time, but I definitely thought he won the fight. And the fact that right now the people are still interested in Pacquiao and Mayweather uh, more so than Bradley fighting, say, uh, Mayweather. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's not good for boxing either. These bad decisions in addition to the fact that we haven't developed any superstars coming up. Well, you've developed Andy Lee, who had a shot uh, on June 16th to beat Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. And you were very elegant in your defeat and gave... Uh, credit where credit was due, but give us an update as to where things stand now relative to some fallout related to that fight. Well, the fact that this is the third consecutive time that Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. has failed to do what is the standard in the industry, uh, and that's to take a proper after-fight test, doping test. Uh, it's uh, even a lawsuit going on related to that from his previous opponent before Andy. And in this fight here, he, we never saw him take a proper uh, drug test after the fight. And, and his complaint was, he said, I beat him easy the first two rounds, and then from the third round on, his body seems to like double and triple his strength. It was just like the Incredible Hulk or something. And so, therefore, we, I thought he had taken a, a drug test properly. And my nephew, uh, Sugar Hill, who was with me, went in the dressing room, and he says, no, he never did take a test that I saw. They just told me he took a test. So what happens from here? Well, right now we've had the uh, test results, which are naturally going to come back negative. So we're having an investigation we're requesting to go into the whole matter of the manner of which the drug testing was taken. Interesting. All right, well, let's turn on to some better news here. And uh, Winfred is a 16-year-old from Oak Park, and you're going to be fighting next Saturday. Tell us a little bit about your experience at the Kronk. It's got to be a little overwhelming when you first start, isn't it? Yeah, when you first start, you got you to gotta pick your skills up. You know, everybody get beat up time to time at first, but hard work, you know, it gets you, gets you where you want to be. Now, what draws you to boxing when you see the success of UFC, when you see the success of mixed martial arts? Why are you a boxer? Well, I started boxing because it's kind of funny because I was watching Rocky, and I figured that looked fun, so I wanted to do it. But uh, compared to UFC, to me, UFC don't have as much finesse as boxing. Uh, they just go in there and do whatever. You know, almost anybody can do it, to me. So what, can we, uh, what should we know about Winford and some other guys like him who are going to be fighting next Saturday? Well, Winfred is one of the featured fighters on a uh, boxing show we have coming up uh, next Saturday, 14th of uh, July at uh, Latimer's Banquet Hall. It's on Grand River and 8 Mile, I believe, in Farmington. And uh, he's matched against a strong team from Ohio. And uh, Winfred is, I think, 8-1 uh, in, in, in your fights. And 
and he's the current uh, Detroit, well, Metro Detroit, uh, Golden Gloves champion. So there's reason for hope, and I'm wishing you all the best. So thank you very much for popping in here tonight, and thank you for chatting with us about the state of boxing. It's always good to get caught up. And you got to appreciate the fact that this man flies from Europe on the red eye and joins us here on the update. That's dedication. I appreciate it. My pleasure. All right. Well, one final word for me as we wrap up the update right after this.